number line placement. This is the first lesson in our first uh, unit on integrated um, math one. So let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, number line placement, so our common core strand, um, our common core state standards, that's what this stands for right here, common core state standards, and this stands for uh, standards uh, for math practices right here, standards for math practices. So this is for your teacher's use, they'll use that. So here we're going to discover the relationship between numbers, and our, our essential question is how can we appropriately graph rational numbers on a number line? and explain what happens as we go to the right or to the left of zero on the number line. Okay, well first, let's go over some rational numbers, you guys. A rational number is any counting number that you guys are aware of. Uh, any negative counting number, zero is considered a rational number. Uh, any repeating or terminating decimal, uh, or any fraction, those are all rational numbers. So here's some examples. Here's a counting number. Here's a negative counting number. Here's a terminating decimal. Terminating means it stops. It doesn't, it doesn't keep going forever and ever and ever. Whoops, I forgot to put a bar on this one. And then this one right here, I'll do that right here. Uh, here's a repeating decimal, 1.2 with a bar on it. Remember, if there's a bar on it, then it goes 0 0.2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Okay, and then uh, negative 2 thirds is a fraction. So all of these are considered rational numbers right here. All right, in the next lesson, I think we're going to talk about irrational numbers. You probably ask your teacher what that is, but you've heard of the number pi. That's an irrational number, but that's later. Okay, and the, uh, the number line, you guys. Here's the number line right here. Zero is typically in the middle, but it doesn't have to be. We're gonna, we don't have to uh, use this number where zero's in the middle. You can pick anywhere on this number line. I can pick way over here, or way over here, or way over here off the chart right here. But this is your typical number line, and then here's one. Notice these spaces are evenly spaced. Here's two, here's three, four, five. And then when you go to the left, it's negative one, negative two, negative three. When I go to the right, the numbers get bigger. And when I go to the left, the numbers get smaller, okay? Let's zoom in on this area right here. So I've taken a picture and enlarged it right there, and I'm going to put it up there. Okay, so on this uh, little zoom-in spot right there, let's locate uh, these decimals right here. Uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 1.5, 1 and 1.8. Okay, let's do uh, 0 0.5. Okay, 0 0.5 is in between 0 and 1. 0.5 is right in the middle. It's, it's, it's a halfway in the middle. 0.5 equals a half. So if I cut this up into like tenths, you know, if you can divide this up into 10 equal spe spe spaces, sorry, that'd be like one, maybe two space. So there'd be like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, maybe, maybe right there, 0.4. And then right in the middle is 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So, so let's go ahead and uh, put a dot right there at 0.5 right there. And I, I did that in yellow. So there's 0.5 right there. Okay, so 0.3 is a little bit less than 0.5. It's going to be right about there, okay? So this would be like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, right about there. So let's go ahead and put that right there. Okay, did that in red. Okay, 0.7. Okay, well, if this is 0.5, then 0.6 would be a little bit there. And then 0.7 would be right about there. So I'm going to do 0.7 right there. Okay, and then 1.5, well here's 1, here's 2, 1 1.5 is halfway between, so it's, here's my 0.5 right here. Just like this was 0.5, this is 1.5 right there, so I'm going to go ahead and put a dot right there, 1.5. Okay, I did that one, and it looks like pink right there, and then finally 1.8 would be, well if this is 1.5 right there, then 1.6, 1.7 right there, so uh, there it is right there, okay. Uh, on 1.8 right there. Okay? All right, so now um, as as we go to the right, the numbers get larger. So so here we are going to the right. These numbers are getting larger. And as I go to the left, the numbers get smaller. So once I have them placed on the number line right there, we can tell which order they are in from least to greatest. So I can say that um, this red guy, which is 0.3, is less than this, I don't know, what's that, orange, orange number, which was 0.5, or yellow number, whatever that is right there. Okay, and then the next one here is the blue number right here, which is the 0.7 right there, so that's less than 0.7. And then, uh, and then 1.5, and then finally 1.8. So uh, once you have them placed on the number line, remember the numbers to the right are bigger than the numbers to the left. 
Okay, so then I know I can put them in order from smallest to largest. Okay, let's go back to the number line and let's zoom in on the negative side right there. Okay, so let me zoom that in and I'm going to slide that up to the top right there. All right, and then now let's uh, graph uh, uh, these fractions right here. Negative 3 and a half, negative 4, negative 2, and negative 2 and a half. Okay, so here's negative 2, here's negative 3. Uh, here's negative four right here. So negative three and a half is going to be halfway between negative three and negative four. So I'm going to put it right there. Okay. So there it is right there. I did it in red. Okay. There's red. And then negative four. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. What color did I do that in? I did that in that orange or yellow color right there. And then negative two is going to be over here. So I'm going to go ahead and graph that guy right there. And then finally, negative two and a half is halfway between negative two and negative three so right there okay so again once you have them placed you guys on the number line then you can use as you go to the right the numbers get larger so the smallest number here is this one is the negative four okay negatives kind of work backwards right here so so negative four is the smallest number and then this number right here is negative three and a half is the next smallest number and then this number right here, which is the purple number, negative two and a half is the next smallest number. And then finally, negative two is the largest number of all those. Okay, so negative four is less than negative three and a half, is less than negative two and a half. And finally, the biggest number in that bunch is negative two. Okay, the one, the farthest one to the right is the biggest number. The farthest one to the left is the smallest number. Okay, all right, so. Uh, so let's place uh, the following numbers here below on the number line, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and place negative 7. Well, here's 0, so I'm going to go over here and place negative 7 right there. I think I did that in red. Yeah, I did, okay? And then negative 0.6, okay? 0 0.6. Well, here's, here's 0. Here's negative 1. Okay, negative 0.5 is right there in the middle, so i got to go a little bit more this way this way would be a negative probably a negative 0.6 so here's negative 0.6 right there okay I did that in that orange or gold color right there okay now I'll graph negative 3 that's going to be this guy right here all right then I'll graph positive 1 half well 1 half is right between 0 and 1 so 1 half is going to be going to be right there all right and then uh, 2 and a half is halfway between 2 and 3 so 2 and a half is going to be right there all right and then uh, finally negative 5.4 remember it's negative so that's over here so here's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5 point one, two, three, four. not quite at negative 5.5 but that right about right there would be like negative 5.4 right there alright now since I have them all placed on the number line I can now see which order they are from least to greatest so so let's go ahead and and list the numbers above in order from least to greatest okay so this is the, the remember the smallest number is the one that's farthest on the left the largest number is the one that's farthest on the right okay so this is the smallest number and so this is the next smallest number so negative seven is less than negative five point four and that's less than negative three and that's less than negative point six whoops i did that in the wrong color didn't i i sure did i'll fix that at the end there which is less than negative a half let me fix that right here sorry uh, that's gold i know i'm gonna have to fix it again here in just a second okay and then that's less than there we go. Is it gold? There we go. And then that one's less than the two and a half right there, okay? Never mind that. Uh, uh, let me fix this right here. Sorry about that. I thought I had it all fixed. Okay. All right. So, uh, so now let's uh, explain what happens to numbers as you go to the right of zero, okay? Well, as I go to the right, the numbers get, do they get bigger or smaller when I go to the right? Okay, yeah, you got it. They get bigger. Okay, explain what happens when I go to the left. Okay, as soon as I start going to the left, the numbers get smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, it's kind of weird. Negative 7 is actually a smaller number than negative 5. Okay, you guys are getting the hang of this, I think, you guys. Okay, so which is bigger, negative 2.5 or negative 3? Okay, and then explain why. All right, well, I think it's easiest is just to, to plot those on the number line first. Here's negative 2.5 right there. It's halfway between negative 2 and negative 3. And then here's uh, 
negative 3 right there. And then which number is bigger? Well, the bigger one's the one that's farthest to the right. So this red number is bigger than the blue number right here. So I'm going to say negative 2.5 is bigger because it's to the right of negative 3 on the number line. Okay, remember it said explain why. So don't just say which one's bigger, just explain why. Right. It's, it's to the right. Uh, the bigger number is always to the right. Okay, so in your groups uh, of three or four, your teacher's choice, uh, make an extra large number line. So teachers, you probably want to pause it right here. All right, so I'll give you a second to pause it right here and then let them get into their groups of three or four and they want to make an extra large number line. Okay, and then uh, place the positive and negative numbers in the correct positions on your extra large number line. And discuss situations where you can use positive numbers. Okay, so pause it here, teachers. Let them discuss situations where they can use positive numbers. Okay, and then discuss situations where you can use negative numbers. All right, pause it and let them do that. All right, and then discuss uh, uh, where fractions and decimals exist on the number line and graph some fractions and decimals. Then tell your teacher what's a rational number. Okay. All right, and then uh, talk about irrational numbers. Uh, talk about where they would exist on the number line, okay? And ask your teacher if you need some help on that because I really didn't talk about irrational numbers because that's probably in our next lesson. Okay, so in your groups, make individual number lines this time to represent each situation. So graph the situation uh, of having, and so you have individual number lines, and show your teacher. So uh, my teachers have um, uh, whiteboards, and they just show them up there. So graph uh, the situation of having $10 and show your teacher this. Okay, and then now graph owing somebody $3. So you know, what's that mean, and which number is bigger? And then show your teacher that. Okay, pause. All right, and then uh, graph 30 degrees Celsius. All right, pause it right here. Okay, now graph negative 5 degrees Celsius. Which number is bigger? Graph negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Then graph negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Which number is bigger? And discuss that with your teacher. All right, okay, if you guys uh, uh, find these videos helpful and, and you're at home on YouTube, then go ahead and, and please click like and or subscribe. Take care, everybody.